So I was watching uh, George Bush today give some sort of speech, or try to, I should say. You guys like George Bush? No. no. You know what? You know what I like about George Bush? He makes me feel like I could be president too. You know? He's like the first guy from like my reading level. You know what I mean? First guy from my math class to actually make it. You know? He's the worst. You know what I love about that guy? He can't say the word terror. He uses the word every speech. He can't say terror. He goes, tear. That's he goes, America will not stand for tear. Anybody who supports tear, you're a terrorist. We're going to get you. What kind of president goes, we're going to get you? He's like some redneck they dragged out of a barbecue, put him in a suit. Dude, if you go, we're going to get you. You should be just standing on stage with like a couple of bloodhounds going, go get him, Blue. Smell the shirt. Get the scent. Go get him. Damn, that Blue's a good dog. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing I have realized, though. When you go to war, man, that's the one time when you really have to like appreciate rednecks, though. You know that? You know why? Because rednecks are like the one group of people that actually like want to go to war. No, they do. They're up for it. That's like their Super Bowl. You know, they're like making dip and shit. You know what I mean? They really want to go. Everybody else tries to get out of it. Like rich people never go to war. You know, you ask a college kid if he wants to go to war. He's just like, um, I'm taking this sociology class. I think war is like really stupid. My roommate's like half Afghani, so that's going to cause some static. Redneck, if he wants to go to war, he's just like, hell fucking yeah! I'm ready right now! You just point the direction, buddy. I'm ready to do this shit. All my life, people telling me I'm fucked up. No, they're frightening people, but you gotta utilize them. Seriously, you wanna scare the enemy, all right? And rednecks are like America's pit bulls. They should just sedate those people, drop them off in Afghanistan, just let them run wild. Just be like, dude, just go do everything you ever dreamed of doing. Just go fucking crazy. Have one of your friends play the banjo, it'll scare the shit out of them. Oh, that's what I would do. Draft psychos. Don't draft decent people. Don't draft some dude who works at Staples. Fuck that, we need him. Keep him, go into the swamps of this country, get people rabies, get perverts, get people like to jerk off in public, you know? Just get like the cancer of this society, get like homeless people who like to talk to buildings, like <laughs> Just send all that shit over there. Bunch of freaks running around. <laughs> Send people over who talk too loud on their cell phones. Yeah, I just got a cheeseburger. <laughs> no, that just makes sense to me. Rednecks are psychopaths. You wouldn't want to draft a guy like me. I'm a comedian. I'm useless. I am. I'm lazy. I'm a coward. I don't like confrontations. You draft a redneck. Not only is that dude a psycho, he'll actually save you money. Those guys show up to the army, you're like, here's your M16. They're like, I already got one. <laughs> I got some shit in the trunk you ain't ever seen before, buddy. I went on eBay, got me some of that surface to air shit. Took it out hunting, got me a moose and a duck at the same fucking time. I didn't even see the duck. Duck was over her. I'm aiming at the moose. Duck's over her. That's my peripheral, over her. And the shot went up the moose's ass. And the shrapnel from his antler hit the duck. Duck came down. It's the best goddamn duck ever, right? <laughs> no, they're hilarious. Funny people, but you gotta give it up to them because they're patriotic. They're patriotic people. Those sons of bitches. You'll never catch a red, redneck at like an anti-war protest going, hell no, we won't go. They're just like, wait, I get to kill people? <laughs> And are they foreigners? Oh my God, hey Dale, come on, you're gonna miss it. Hurry up, well hurry up. Christmas in September.
Yeah, I never do this shit when I go down south. I never do this material. <laughs> what the fuck you talking about, boy? <laughs> no, I'm actually, I gotta admit, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid of those people. No, I, I, I really am. Not like, you know, all Southern, a lot of people, that's those, those backwoods dudes, they're just scary. I always try to like make conversation with them when I do shows and you know, it's always, they got like anger. They're cr In the darkness of the night, a flicker starts to glow. A beacon in the shadows, a light that starts to flow. Illuminating pathways where once there was despair. In the depths of obscurity, hope begins to flare. Like a flame in the wind, I ignite from within. Casting rays of brilliance, banishing the din. With each step I take, I brighten up the way. In the realm of shadows, I become the day. I'm the light in the darkness, the spark in the night. Guiding lost souls towards the morning light. Through the tunnels of uncertainty, I'll be the guide. I am the bearer of hope in me, dreams reside In the labyrinth of life, where shadows dance and play I'm the ray of sunshine, turning night into day With every glimmer I cast, I unveil the unseen In the tapestry of existence, I'm the golden sheen From the darkest corners, to the highest peak I'm the radiant glow, that even shadows seek with every flicker, every beam, I emit I dispel the darkness, I never submit I'm the light in the darkness, the spark in the night Guiding lost souls towards the morning light Through the tunnels of uncertainty, I'll be the guide For I am the bearer of hope in me, dreams reside In the symphony of life, I'm the crescendo's rise in the canvas of the universe, I paint the skies So let the darkness tremble, let the shadows flee For in the heart of radiance, I'll always be I'm the light in the darkness, the spark in the night Guiding lost souls towards the morning light Crazy, like they love their trucks, so you know They got like, they're kind of like, they're like angry and proud so I'm trying to make conversation because I'm nervous. Like, hey, yeah, it's a nice truck. What kind of truck is it? It's fucking American truck. It's made in America by a fucking American. Like, all right, buddy, relax. No, I buy American shit. I get a cheeseburger. I get American cheese on that bitch. All right, none of that Swiss shit. I don't trust it. It's got all them holes in it. People looking at you. No, I just get, I get nervous when I go down there. Always saying that fucked up shit. South's gonna rise again. They do what, secede from the union? Fucking morons. This shit was 200 years ago, 150 years ago. You know, you lost, get over it. <laughs>